What's coming up is the real deal. This is the women's double final. The one by one seeds, the seemingly unbeatable Wang Xiaoli and Huang taking on Tian Qing and Zhao Yunlei. So let's hear from the players and see what they've got to offer. They're coming out announced by the PA announcer, Howard Bentham. Ladies and gentlemen, the first match on court is the women's doubles final. Please welcome from China, number one seed, Wang Jolly and Yu Yang. China, the number five seeds, Tian Qing and Zhao Yunlei. So this, the first of the finals, and this was how they knew they got there to make it an all-Chinese affair in what is, I suppose, China's strongest discipline in the World Championships. A very good afternoon, a very warm welcome to Wembley Arena for finals day then of this 2011 World Championships. I'm Richard Kaufman, I'm in the company of former world number one at the women's doubles and the mixed doubles, twice a medalist at the World Championships, 10 years apart as well, Jill Clark, First match is an all-Chinese affair. It's going to be fascinating, isn't it, to see how the seemingly unbeatable, the unstoppable Wang Anu come up against their compatriots, who are the only ones, really, who are able to stop them in the last year. Yes, that's right. Uh, you know, a, a year ago, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang played against each other in the World Championship final. After that tournament, the two partnerships were dissolved. They've uh, brought together these two new partnerships and as you say they really are outstanding in world badminton the way that Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang disposed of the number three seeds yesterday Maeda and Suetsuna of Japan I thought that was very impressive indeed well you can see career win loss ratio 52 in their advantage and one of those was because Wang Xiaoli was carried off court when they took on uh, Jinny Hui and Go Liu Yong in China last year, so really that's 51, although we should mention, of course, that they have met as well in the Asian Games and they were beaten in the final, and they were beaten in the final, Jill, by... Their opponents of today. Yeah, absolutely. So. But look at that, it's been very straightforward so far, hasn't it, for them? They've only been on court a maximum of 45 minutes, but they got through the defensive duo of Mario and Suetsuna, as you say, very impressively. And it's hard to see them being stopped, although, as we said, you know, the combination they're up against today have managed to do it before. Such a fierce combination, Wang Anu. And here's who they're up against. Zhao Yunlei and Tian Qing. World ranked number seven. They're actually the number five seeds. They World ranking probably a little deceptive, isn't it, Joe? Because they you know, have only played in somewhere like seven tournaments or official ranking tournaments together. Yes, that's right. And you can see that from the career win-loss record. You know, a very new partnership and, and like their opponents, a very exciting partnership as well. Well, this is how they have got there. Similarly, in straight games, Last 16, a bit of a tough task against Pedersen Rodriguez in the first set, but apart from that, it's been straightforward yesterday against Gouda and Ponopa, while the Indian pair put up a good fight. It was always going to be a Chinese victory, it seemed, in that match. So uh, both pairs with straightforward routes. The umpire from Malaysia, Go Siang. And it's uh, 
Bu Long Hu, who is the service judge. Well, you look at the records of these two women's doubles partnerships, and it is just unbelievable for one. And Wu, it's 11 tournaments, 10 finals, 8 titles. And it's not too bad for Tian and Zhao either. Only seven tournaments together, four victories. They won their first two together, the Asian Games and the Malaysian Super Series. In head-to-head -head battles, it's two apiece. So can Tian and Zhao stop the number one seeds, the world number ones here of Wang and Wu? Jill, it's a really nice way to start. It's, a, it's an all-Chinese affair, the only all-Chinese match we have in the finals today. No coaches involved, obviously. No, that's right. The coaches will be very happy just to leave it to, to the players to sort themselves out. And, you know, this is going to be interesting. match of this final day of the 2011 World Championships is underway. Well, into the net there from uh, Wang Xiaoli. Don't expect to see that happen too often in this match. Aggressive play from Xiao Yun Lei. She, of course, will be in action later on, last of today's finals, in the mixed doubles. Will that have any effect at all? The fact that you know first on, last on, and having your focus, you know, cut in half in some respect. No, it's standard practice in badminton. If a player is in more than one match in a session, then they try and give that player as much rest as possible. Well, it's been a good start, hasn't it, from the outsiders, Tian and Zhao. A terrific clash between them in the Asian Games final, which Tiana Zhao won 21 12 in the oh, final service set. Over. Service over 2 4. Service full call then. Struck above the waist, says the service judge. Ooh, yeah. Definitely high. Yeah, it was chest high, wasn't it? Service over. Five, two. A few uh, uncharacteristic errors ah. from uh, Wang Anu. Ah. Yes, they haven't started as they finished yesterday. They were so sharp in their semi final ah. against the Japanese so pair of Maeda and Sotsuna. Yeah, they were, they were explosive and they were nothing short of excellent. from Tian Ching. But it was short from Wang Xiaoli, and I suppose if anyone's going to be the more nervous of that partnership, it will be her. Yes, that's true, because Yu Yang, of course, is the reigning world champion with Du Jing. She won the title in Paris last year. She's also the Olympic champion. And so there's a lot of expectation on this new pairing with Wang Xiaoli.
No one thing is certain, though, that all four players on court will know each other's games inside out because they train together on a daily basis. But not only that, Yu Yang won the World Junior Championships in 2004 with Tian Qing. So players on opposite sides of the net used to play together. Yeah, Tian Qing was asked about that yesterday, actually, if that they're taking on the fellow Chinese. First sparkling rally of the match. Little oh. miss hit there, got away with it. That's what we were expecting. Yes, I thought yesterday in the semi-final, Wang Xiao Li was absolutely outstanding. She got away with that one, though, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but she's got such a variety of shots. She's so deceptive in her play. That final shot there, very few women would have had the technical ability to hit that. Most players would have played it across court, but for her to hold the shot and play it straight down the line on the backhand side, very good indeed. The way she's able to angle that racket. signs to me that Tiang Ching and Zhao Yunlei, uh, their tactical ploy is to get Yu Yang to the back of the court because Yu Yang is such a fine mixed doubles player as well that she loves to come forward and we've certainly seen from the smash speeds this week that Wang Xiao Li has got the fastest smash in the women's game and therefore they will want her at the back of the court as much as possible. Keeping Yu Yang to the back. And we'll see Ali coming out anyway. Yeah, it's good rotational play, I have to say, from Wang Xi Ali. Was determined not to get stuck at the net and cut out of the game. So after a slightly nervous start. Number one seeds back level. Those who were with us over the last week who've watched any of the women's doubles prior to this final, I've been talking an awful lot about how you've got to involve the net player in women's doubles because you can't really expect to hit winners from the back of the court. And already in these early stages of this final, both these pairs are showing how aggressive they can be and how really to place the smash so well or their attacking shot that it narrows the angle of reply and does get the net player involved. And therefore, we do see a far more aggressive game in the women's doubles. That's short. Hey! 
Well, she's managed 227 kilometers per hour this week, which is the fastest of the week. Not far off it there. The court is playing a little slow, so when they are hitting it 2.12, I mean, in, compared to maybe Paris last year, the courts were playing a little faster, maybe. give way. Yes, it's interesting because in the semi-final yesterday, Wang Xiao Li and Yu Yang probably would have ended the rally after a couple of smashes there. 2.19 this time. Warming up nicely, isn't she? <laughs> well, they've stamped their authority after a nervy kind of start here, Wang Xiaoli and Wu Yang, and they have a interval lead here, just goes soaring high. And I suppose you could say both these bears have shown that confidence this week. Yet to drop a set. Well, with the fact that neither bears yet to drop a set, Someone's going to have a sinking feeling for the first time in a short while. Yeah, great example of involving the net player and the movement of the net player, getting herself in position, anticipating where the reply is going to come. from Wang Xiaoli. Oh. Well, she did a couple of those yesterday, didn't she? Against the Japanese pair. It is wonderful defence. Refusal just to lift the shuttle, wanting to do something with it, guiding it across court into the open space. Five points in a row now for Wang and Wu. Ah! Of course, as soon as I say that, Service it goes long. Way. Yeah, despite the fact that it's very even when they've met each other before, you've looked at their games this week and Wang and Wu just do look a, a class apart from anyone else. Yes, uh, I agree with that totally. I, I, I've been watching them since they formed their partnership and I've been very excited about this. I was saying the other day that I really believe that they'll take women's doubles to a whole new level. And one of the reasons they'll do that is because their opponents, their practice partners as well, are pushing them all the way. Yeah, to snap that one up. She's looking to become the first player since Gaulet to turn in a double goal winning performance if she can win here and of course then in the mixed doubles. 
And with Jeanne now, of course, against Adcock and Banker, the British hopes. Oh, a lovely angle shot. Yeah, great anticipation. Racket arm outstretched, taking the shuttle as early as possible and just guiding it across court. There's the defensive shot. Look at her move forward. Look at that. Super. Oh, she was pleased with it too, wasn't she? A little skip after she saw it being a winner. <laughs> That's good. Wow. Yeah. Great lengths on that drive from Tian Ching. Head coach Lee Yong Bo is a big fan of this player. Says that Tian Ching is very flexible in her style and a flexible personality. She is apparently very good within the team environment. She can play with anyone as far as women's doubles and mixed doubles is concerned. Good influence on teammates. And she's obviously a very flexible style because she's won eight career titles with four different partners. They're highly successful with whoever, whoever she plays with. Well, that's this time from the number one pair. Called out. 14, oh, sorry, well, I, 15, 13. I'm watching it. My initial instinct, you heard it. It's on the line. Well, well, I'm not convinced by that call either. Ooh. Was I right or wrong? Well, if it was wide, it was wide by a whisker. Goodness me, that's close. Oh, Zhao Lei and Tian Ching are playing some fabulous badminton in this opening set. Trailing by one point, but of course it could be a point to their advantage if that previous call had gone their way. Sun Silver. 16-14. Such thin margins, isn't it? And the difference is gold and silver. of how far up the court Tian Ching and Zhao Yun Lei were in that rally on their defence there. Both of them encroaching forward, looking for the block. What a sharp contrast to yesterday when... Yeah, very much so. Maid and Su Suna were almost back on the, uh, on the baseline.
Well, Zhao Yunlei oh, was destined to be involved in sport in some way. There's the rest of the Chinese team. Here yeah, watching. Zhao Yunlei's father is vice principal of a sports school in China and her mother a tennis coach. Tennis becoming more popular in China, but the biggest sports in China are badminton and table tennis. Okay, please. Good steep angle. Played the first attacking shot down the backhand side of Wang Xiao Li, then switching to the forehand. there of the president of the BWF, Bantam World Federation, his deputy president as well, Dr. Kang on the left as we look at them, Paisan on the right. This is such an important point. The drive defense and immediately looking to come forward, taking it off the top of the tape. A real lesson in how to convert defensive play into attacking play. Yeah, from 18 15 down, it's now 18 all. You were saying how important that point was. Yan and Zhao took it. deliberately flatter aiming towards the right shoulder and that was plum on the line <laughs> oh, that was a nervous looking shot Oh, what a fabulous start to finals day in this World Championships in London. Yes. So who's going to get the first game point of the day? Umpire Go Si Yang. 
Just uh, talking to the players there, Jill. Yes, just telling them that they're taking too long in between rallies and he wants them to get ready a little quicker. And uh, Gosi Yang from Malaysia, this is his last officiating duties as an umpire, retiring from the umpiring staff after this event. So, big occasion for him too. Oh. It's game point for Tian Jing and Zhao Yun Lei. Not according to the script. Eighteen fifteen down, they've taken five of the last six points. Conference time for both players just after the umpire told them to hurry up things in between points, but I suppose maybe you can understand why they are giving themselves every chance of winning this point. From Tian, only just what leaving that. Leave it. Yeah, as you, uh, you said it. Heart must be in mouth. So, Wang and the world number one pair, save game point. We're into extra points now. Someone has to win by two clear points. Game point now for Wang Xiaoli and Liang. Yeah, good placement of the smash. Good hustle first of all for Liang. It's long. Well, we were given a bit of a fright, weren't they? Uyang and Wang Xiaoli there. But from having saved a game point, they took the first one that came their way. Well, what a thrilling start to these finals with the gold medal to be handed out. 22-20, Wang and U take the first game. players taking a break this is Lee Chong Wei getting ready for his men's singles match you see Lin Dan there in the uh, background as well the dream final Jill yeah it's the only final with the number one and two seeds who have progressed to finals day and it's the final that everybody was talking about prior to the start of this tournament everybody wanted to see the world number one playing against the Olympic champion and we've got it yeah, that's in the uh, practice area, which is uh, just around the corner from where this court is. And that's to come next on this court, but we're uh, obviously enjoying what we're seeing right now, aren't we? Been a thrilling start. Well, it was a thrilling start. Tremendous first game, and... Look what it means for Wang Anu here to actually take it. <laughs> You'd think they just won. Never mind just taking the first set. Yeah. Important three points there, wasn't it, for them to win in a row? Yes, and they, they, I have to say, the courage that they showed right at the end, I thought was very impressive indeed. But the, the quality of play the whole way through that opening game was excellent. Second game. Double play. One, love. That knocked the stuffing out of their opponents, Tiang and Zhao. 
Well, we're going to have uh, another close encounter here. Death touch from Zhao. Yeah, I'm not One, sure she four. knew much about that, to be honest, but had her racket up ready. Over. Two, one. Spring in the step now, isn't it? Three, one. Fifth to I want another close run thing here. Let's, let's get this one. I better lead this time. They were 18 15 up. Oh. Now moving brilliantly across Two, three, the front of the net there. Yeah, and she uses that sort of movement in the mixed doubles, and that's why she and her partner are ranked number one in the world in that discipline. Nice. Oh, just that. Again, a quality Four, point. Two. Of luck, Ooh. isn't it, for Wanganu? And timely ones, as far as Tian and Zhao are concerned. <laughs> I'll tell you what, sometimes it's your Six, day, isn't it? Two. Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> Three of the first eight points have gone like this. Create your own luck on instances like that, though. She was taking the shuttle Seven, really early, two. anticipated well. Mm. After the dispiriting feeling of losing that opening set so closely, and then that to happen right at the start of the second, it's uh, kicking the solar plexus, isn't it, for Tian Jing and Zhao Junlei here? A different game. Suddenly, they've lost a bit of patience. Didn't get away with that Sorry, one. Silver. Three, nine. Very, very important as far as the Asian Games gold medalists are concerned. They've got to narrow this gap before the mid game interval. Well, you were talking about narrowing the gap. Well, they haven't narrowed it. They've seen the gap stretched. And, well, after the tension, after the drama of that opening set, this is becoming far easier for the number one seeds now. And they're very close now to getting a, a world championship gold medal. Of course. Well, China really have been outstanding in this discipline since the China Badminton Association joined the International Federation. Their first world championships were in 1983 in Copenhagen. So, of course, we've had 16 world championships since then, prior to this, and China have won 15 of the 16 gold medals in women's doubles. And that wasn't going to change coming into the day, of course, was it? No. Given the fact that there's two Chinese players in this final. Well, backs against the wall for Tian Zhao.
Defensive wow. shot from Yu Yang. was on the losing partnership in the women's doubles in Paris a year ago in these world championships. Lu Young, of course, was on the other side of the court. And here they are together on the verge of another Chinese gold in the women's doubles. Yeah, Wang Xiaoli has not only that silver medal that we just mentioned, also a bronze medal from the 2000 and nine world championships so if she was to go on and win this full set of world championship medals isn't a isn't a bad thing on the cv is it not at all no who young though she just keeps having this habit of picking up goals doesn't she and it's that kind of play we've seen there olympic gold another world championship gold surely now coming her way with the scoreline 14-6 in this second set Just wide. Yeah, the disappointment of losing that opening game, as far as Tian Qing and Zhao Yunlei are concerned, they've lost their discipline. They're not keeping it tight anymore in the opening game. They were very much had the discipline of the channel attack. At the end of that last rally, when she was going for a drop shot out wide on the sideline. in the opening game. Now that's good. Very good. I suppose if you're Chris Adcock and Imogen Banker watching this, there's some things to be learned. Yeah. As Zhao Yulei will be up there against the net again in the last match on court here in the final final, the mixed doubles. All set up with the return of serve. But that is wonderful. Seventeen seven. as big as this arena itself. Really just playing for pride here. There's no way back from this sort of 
deficit, not against the world number ones. Oh dear. Time is over. And they're dispirited. 98. Well, what a contrast between the first game and the second. There are match points now, and there are nine of them for Uyang and Wang Siali. The first gold medal of the day goes to Uyang and Wang Siali. The world number one pair haven't dropped a set all week. It was close in the first. They had to save a game point. But in the end, it was a comfortable ride in that second game. 22-20, 21-11. A second gold medal in consecutive years in this women's doubles for Wu Young. Wang Xiali now has the set. Well, they were the best pair at the start of the week and they end the week still as the ones to beat. With new regard, you know, what's going to be going on here in a year's time with the Olympic Games. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I mean, since they formed their partnership, they really have been the pair to beat. And I think with, with both pairs, they were so aware of how important that opening game was. And for Tian Qing and Zhao Yunlei, they uh, probably knew that um, once the world number ones are on a run, once they've got their noses in front, they're such a difficult pair to beat. And I think that probably psychologically had a big effect on the fighting spirit of Tian Qing and Zhao Yunlei, because to me, they didn't have the same commitment or the same belief in that second game, having lost the first. But in a way, there was a, a double whammy, wasn't there? not taking the game point, then losing three in a row. And, and then those the early exchanges, the three US times in the opening eight points. The shuttle hit the net and rolled the side of Wang and and it just really hurt. Yes, and, and that's the thing, because, um, you know, when there's been such a tight opening game, the psychological effect of that, and as you say, coupled with, in all honesty, what were lucky shots, and, you know, sometimes you know it's your day, sometimes you know it just isn't. And I think maybe some of those negative thoughts came into the minds of Tian Qing and Zhao Yunlei. But it's incredible how often it is their day. It's an incredible run together. 12 tournaments now, 10 finals, 9 titles. So the presentation is about to be made for the gold, silver and bronze. And the gold medal and champagne will be presented by Simon Morton, Director of Major Events and International Relations at UK Sports. Receiving commemorative medals, our officials from Malaysia, umpire Go Siang. But as you have noted already, so this is the final China, time that Go Siang will be officiating he's retiring after these world championships and there was a couple of close calls there maybe one wrong call in that match but he'll be 
Winners well, of the bronze medal representing India, Juwala Gutta and Ashwini Ponapa. Well, the first Indian medal at a World Championships for 28 years. Also the first Indians Japan, to Yuki win a medal Maeda as well. And being presented Suetsuda. their medals by Simon Morton of UK Sport. Gregory Verbuten, I should say, the vice president of the BWF here, handing out the medals as well, of course, to Miyuka Maeda and to Suetsuna as well, the number three seeds from Japan who were also beaten yesterday, of course, by Wang Anu. Winners of the silver medal representing China, Tian Qing and Zhao Yunlei. Well, Asian Games champions, but unable to get past their counterparts here in this women's doubles final. Adam Christie, the chief executive officer of Bamberton, England, presenting these silver medals. Winners of the gold medal and the Yonex BWF Bamberton World Champions 2011, representing China, Wang Zhao Li and Yu Yang. They are the Golden Girls. They are the seemingly undestructible force. Such strong favourites at the start of the week. They just didn't disappoint. They didn't lose a single set. And another gold medal round the neck of Wu Young. Uh, Simon Morton, the director of major events and international relations at UK Sport, hands over the medals. Wang Xiaoli then now has a goal to go with her bronze and silver at these World Championships, a magnum of champagne. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of China. China managed a clean sweep in 2010. They were always going to win the first gold and in and this women's doubles. And winners. Congratulations to Wang Xiaoli and Hu Yang. What an excellent start, you have to say, to uh, these World Championships. Can they fit them all on there? <laughs> well, it's a it's a great moment for all the players, but you know I want to make special note of the Indian pair of Ponapa and Gutta because they have beaten the number two seeds this week. They really have performed way above expectation and and I think it's absolutely tremendous, as you say, first ever medals in world championships for any female player from India. Well, the Chinese girls having their pictures taken together now. And of course, there's still a chance for a gold, isn't there, for Zhao Yunlei later on in the day. And now they get to parade their gold medal to this packed auditorium. moment for Wang Xiu earlier to watch Yu Yang do all this last year now together. She is the golden ticket in some respect, isn't she? 
seven titles in 2010. This is now her sixth win in 2011. Great representation uh, of Chinese fans inside this crowd. And Jill, just because obviously Morton's going to be alongside me for the men's singles final. Just as we watch the Chinese celebrations here, do you expect more Chinese celebrations after the men's singles final? With Lin Dan up against Lee Chong Wei. Oh, it's very difficult to call. I have to say the way Lee Chong Wei, Lee Chong Wei played his semi-final against the former world champion, now Chen Jin, I thought that was very impressive. Whereas I didn't think Lin Dan was looking quite as sharp in his semi-final. But it's another day. Who knows? It should be a great match. Yeah, that's what's coming next. And, uh, well, I'm sure the bubbly will be opened at some point of the day. <laughs>